Hey everybody, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here with a different type of video. I know I do a lot of inking videos or my fountain pen collection videos, but this isn't really a review of any particular pen. It's actually about the nib. Um, this is a Lamy All Star in a Cosmic and I actually originally purchased this with a fine nib and then I thought I really want to try a stub nib but I didn't want to purchase a whole pen not knowing if I would like a stub nib at all. So thankfully Lamy actually has the ability to purchase all of their nibs uh, in the different sizes and the different finishes and it's really easy actually to be able to purchase one of these what you know the 1.1 stub or the 1.5 or the 1.9 to try out any nib size that you would like for a cheap price without having to buy a whole other pen so I have here two other Lamy nibs, one in the extra fine and one in the fine. So that's what actually originally came with this pen. Uh, so I have three Lamy nibs, but the one that is currently on here is the 1.1 stub, which I received with my pen chalet order earlier this month. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to wait a bit. I'm not going to remove the... Uh, fine nib that was on here because one it's inked and I would have created a huge mess which I ended up doing uh, but secondly I was like I can wait hmm. no I could not wait so if you have never taken off or put on a Lamy nib it's actually a really really easy thing to do so let me just zoom in here there are actually a lot of videos out there. Look, I've already gotten pink on myself. There's a lot of videos out there for how to remove the Lamy nib. It's actually really easy. You can place a nib grip right on top of the nib or a piece of tape to just gently pull the nib off the feed. And then you can see here that there's actually kind of little tracks that the nib can run on to to make it really easy to put back on. So again, I love that Lamy does these and you can do this I think with the the Safari, the All Star, the Studio. Um, I don't know all of the different models of the Lamy, but those are the three that I know that will take these types of nibs. So why did I decide to go with a 1.1 stub? Well, really, it was just to try it out to basically have a little bit of fun with the nibs. You know, I'm having fun with the extra fine and fine and finding that I am actually preferring nibs that are slightly broader and slightly wetter. The extra fines that I purchased, you know, last year, I'm thinking they need to be wetter, they need to be broader. So I decided to try this and I'm gonna do a little bit of a writing sample here in my A6 Hobonichi notebook that has Tomo River paper in it. And this writing sample will just show you how I use it with my regular block lettering. And the ink that is in here currently is Pilot Roshizuku Kosu Mosu. So like I said, I'll show you some of my regular block printing lettering as well as some cursive. So this is the Lamy All Star in Cosmic with a 1.1 stub steel nib. This is in the Pilot Hiroshizuku Kosumosu ink and I love this ink. The Lamy replacement nibs come in a variety of sizes and are available in either chrome or black. The Lamy replacement nib can fit the Lamy Safari, the Lamy Vista, All Star, Joy, ABC, Accent, Logo, Nex, Pure, and Scala. The stub nib actually comes in 1.1, 1.5, or 1.9 millimeter sizes. The stub nib has line variation without the need for pressure on the nib, unlike a flex nib. The line variation comes from the way the nib is ground, where the tipping material has actually been removed and then the edges have actually been squared off. The result is broad downstrokes and thin cross strokes, and I love that line variation. This is also dependent on the angle you hold your pen. If you hold it too slanted, you're going to lose some of that line variation or the pen won't actually write. This has been such a fun nib to try. I highly, highly recommend.
So there was my writing sample using the Lamy All Star with the 1.1 stub nib. I absolutely love this. Now, I do want to use it in my A6 five-year journal. I don't know if it'll be slightly too big for me, but I just think it'll be such a fun nib to play with and to try out. And it's a great way to add line variation without needing to know how to use a flex uh, nib, for example. So I highly recommend that if you do want to ever try a stub nib, Lamy is a great place to start, especially if you don't want to have to buy a whole new pen. I know other companies also do stub nibs, like the Pilot Metropolitan has stub nibs. I know that, that Twisby has stub nibs in their Eco Diamond 580, and I believe their, their VAC 700. So those are some other brands that you could certainly look into. Now, I also did some research. Um, Goulet Pens has a great video on stub nibs, which I will put in the description below as well, and that helped me figure out whether it was something that I would actually like. So I highly recommend giving a stub nib a try if you haven't done so already. Um, but that is it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of that ASMR writing sample. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you are interested in trying out a stub nib. I know Pen Shelley has them and I do have a link in the description below for 10% off your first order with Pen Shelley. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and have yourselves a great day.